everybody, it's Nanny Row here again and I'm bringing to you a Tanya Burr. So I've been out and brought some of their Christmas collection. This isn't, but this one is and this one is. And I thought I'd just give you a sneak peek on it. It is what I'm wearing today and to start off with, I got the Tanya Burr um, Cosmetic Perfect Brows. Uh, there wasn't a lot to choose from, to be honest, from Tanya Burr. Um, so, I got the perfect brow set. I thought, yes, it's disgusting. I've got it on my eye eyebrows today. I've had to, you see, that's the lightest shade I can possibly use. This has got glitter in it. There is no setting gel. There is no setting wax. There is nothing. You just get powder. So you've got to go and buy something else to do this. I don't see the point. Nice as eyeshadows would absolutely be gorgeous as eyeshadows. But not for the brows. I really don't think that it was any good. I still preferred my Kiko. I think I had to use it to fill it in. It was, it was rubbish. It really was. So, I don't, I don't advise anybody to get this. Go and get a Kiko. Go and get a number seven um, pencil. So much better. You haven't got to worry about wax or it being powdery. You know, and there were four that. So I wasn't impressed. So then I got the it's Christmas lip lip glosses, and again, I'm not being funny. But I'm not impressed. You know, they come like this. This is the, this is the red one. And I tell you what, it's one of them lip glosses that you go and it stretches in between. It really is disgusting. Really disgusting don't like it I don't mind lip gloss at all but these are so you could like talk to a goldfish and I understand the red but I don't understand the pink it's Christmas and they are so similar colors it is they really are even in true life in true life in the real life they are so they're just not worth it they're really not that these two were disgusting not i can't can't so the next one was this and this was 10 pound and i think these were about six or seven pound um and i was like right so this looks a pretty nice little set and the eyeshadow is what i'm wearing today and I've had to put, I've had to use this as a base colour and these, oh my god the powder that kicks off, now I know we all expect some powders and I know it's a £10 palette and all the rest of it but I still expect more, I expected decent stuff, the bronzer that is nice but again, it's not just a bronzer, it's got glitter in it. And yes, alright, I think this would suit more of a teenager, you know, than an adult. The eyeshadows uh, blended really nice. Once I'd put my base coat down, um, highlighter you couldn't even see. There's no blusher in here. And I wasn't going to spend another £10 just to get a blush set. And you can only do one look. So I literally use this as the transition set shade. Um, this in the top crease. This in the middle. This on the outer. And I actually went and used this on the inner corner of my eyes. So all the rest of it I've just added. Um, I tried to use this as a highlighter like it's supposed to be. No, 
it might look on fleet now but I used the bronzer and it just looked like mud on my face really did it was disgusting and um, once I'd put some powder on top of a brush and blended it in yes fine um, but I ended up using the only honest thing that I can say is absolutely gorgeous out of this set is the um is this bit here and this one's called the liquid highlighter it's what i put on top of the highlighter um and what i used on top of my eyes but seriously i know it's only 10 pound but it's not worth it i really can't i can't even say yes you know to 10 pound i think it cost me 20 some pound for these three things and they are crap they are the worst makeup i have ever tried so um i wouldn't advise people i know people are gonna have different opinions to me that is perfectly understandable but for me these three palettes don't do jack People, I know when you're doing your eyebrows, people want you need your wax to hold your powder in. Um, there isn't one. The lipsticks, lip glosses in here are gloopy. Maybe the lipsticks might be better, but they were six pound for one. Um, so it wasn't going to happen. And then this eyeshadow set, this was like I say, ten pound. Which I thought was a bargain, you know, three eyeshadows, bronzer, blusher, yeah, and the other highlighter. But then when I got it and there's no transition colour and it's all browns, I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? So, so yeah, I'm really not happy. They will be going back. I don't even think I'll bother doing a look on them because they are so, so, so bad. And don't get me wrong the eyeshadows did blend nicely that is one thing i can say about it the eyeshadows blended gorgeously but there's not enough in one of these because i know in the sets look like these there's four in them and you might as well buy the eyebrow one and have that as your transitions but then you've got sparkle in that why do you want sparkle in your eyebrows I've no, I don't know, I just, I just can't work any of it out. So basically, for me, Tanya Burt, no. But that's my opinion. Um, it's not worth it. So, hope you enjoy this video. 